everyone, this is Afat from Full Stack Networker. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an end-to-end -end NetDevOps pipeline and the function that each tool performs within that pipeline. Be right back. Welcome back. First, let me revisit our NetDevOps tool chain, which if you recall, consists of four main stages of config creation, config building, testing, and deploying. NetDevOps pipeline stage number one, where you're creating it's about creating configuration as code. Now, during this stage, you as NetDevOps are creating a configuration change. Let's say you are adding an access list or a static route. Now, in order to accomplish this task, you will utilize a software control management or SCM tool, such as GitHub or GOGS or Giddy, or another similar tool of your choice. For the purpose of this discussion, let's say you're using Giddy, which is a self-hosted version of Git services available free of cost. Gox and Giddy are open source, single binary Go implementation of a GitHub-like Git repository hosting system, which you can use privately or in a team setting. Both are light on system requirements. Giddy is a fork of Gogs, and it's very difficult to say which one is better. Gogs is at times a bit more like GitHub, I would say, whereas Giddy is a newer version of Gogs. Giddy brings everything in a single binary, whereas Gogs has a number of support files that you have to work with such as CSS, JavaScript, templates that are part of the GOGS install. I will be using Giddy solely because GOGS is managed by one person, whereas Giddy has a large community support, which I believe will serve us well over time. Now, second stage, stage number two, building configuration as code. All right, so there are two set of tools that are utilized during this stage. You have a build server that runs through your CI, CD, Pipeline as defined in the pipeline file, i.e. .drone.yaml. There are many open source options for build and integration tooling. You can use Drone or Jenkins or even Travis CI, which is also now open, uh, free for open source and private projects. However, Drone is a popular continuous integration and delivery platform built entirely in Go. It integrates with many version control services or systems such as GitHub, GitLab, and obviously Giddy and Gox. Drone agent watches for code changes and will automatically build and test changes as soon as they are committed. Drone is primarily distributed as a Docker image, so you will need to use Docker Compose to manage the CI server container by creating the Docker Compose YAML file. In order to monitor code changes to trigger build and test stages, Drone will need to access your source code repository inside Giddy or Gox. The drone Docker image is a unified container that can be run in a few different ways. Now it is recommended to run one container that operates as the drone server, which coordinates the repository access, hosts the web UI, and serves the API. In addition to that, you can run another container as drone agent with pretty much the same settings, which is responsible for building and testing software from the configured repository. The drone server service starts the main drone server container uh, listening on default port of TCP 8000. And likewise, the drone agent service uses the same image, but, but you, can, you have to start it with the agent command. You will also need to set up server and agent environments using the respective .env file as well as systemd unit using a service file before you can fire up uh, your drone install. Both Giddy and Gox don't support OAuth 2. So you will be prompted for user ID and password each time you kick off CI CD pipeline. This is a little bit annoying, but obviously not too bad. You can, you can also additionally configure Nginx or Apache server as a reverse proxy to have drone send requests through the proxy and use SSL to secure communication between drone and your version control system. NetDevOps pipeline stage number three, testing, which is your configuration as a code. Now, broadly speaking, there are three types of tests involved during the NetDevOps pipeline execution, i.e. unit, integration, and production testing. Unit testing is simply done using a single node, which can be a router or a switch or a firewall. Whereas integration and production testing include a more realistic simulation network topology with multiple nodes that closely mimic the real network. Now, in order to create test network, you can either use Cisco Viral or GNS3. Which... Now, 
I prefer GNS3 since it's open source, multi-vendor, and, and available free of cost. Whereas Cisco Viral is well Cisco only, obviously, and is sold as a subscription service priced at $199 a year uh, for 20 nodes. If you plan to use Cisco devices only and prefer access to latest iOS V or I virtualized iOS images and don't mind paying for it, then Cisco Viral is maybe the right choice for you. Cisco Viral integration with drone is as simple as Cisco, they themselves provide a plugin that you can tap into to do the integration. Now, anyhow, as I said, I will be using GNS3 for my um, NetDevOps pipeline examples. So now moving on, NetDevOps stage number four, which is deploying configuration as code. There are multiple ways to deploy your configuration. However, the mostly used and preferred tool obviously is Ansible. Ansible consists of YAML data file as well as Jinja template, which contains variables that can be replaced with your YAML data file. Ansible playbooks can declare configurations and launch tasks synchronously or asynchronously. For each play in a playbook, you get to choose which devices in your infrastructure to target and what remote user to complete the steps or the task as. Now, in order to use GNS3 with drone, you can simply integrate GNS3 using the GNC server RESTful APIs directly into drone CICD.drone.yaml pipeline along with the project information to start and stop your simulated network topology. You can use Ansible playbooks to deploy your configuration into those same simulated networks. Now, last but not least, I invite you to come and join me on Full Stack Network blog. I'll soon be discussing NetDevOps delivery pipeline and network automation in more detail. I wish you best of luck. Thanks.